Hi guys, fundamental number three, using mental imagery. Well, we've taken you to our fourth tee here at Stonecutters Ridge for a very specific reason. We have water and this hole really does strike fear into a lot of our players and what we hear about and what we see is that people don't use mental imagery very well. In fact, they do the opposite. Yeah. They say to themselves, don't slice it into the water. Yeah, and that, that brings me to the, the first point is, is that what you focus on expands. Now, your subconscious mind, it's proven that your subconscious mind cannot process negatives. Um, he talks about it in here, he uses one, an old school, uh, everyone's heard it, whatever you do, don't think about a pink elephant. Don't think about a pink elephant. Now what's the first thing that comes to your brain? <laughs> it's a great it? big pink <laughs> elephant. So, our subconscious mind thinks in pictures. So it doesn't matter what we say do's or don'ts or what or don't or, or what have or any of those words. In a sentence, if we say I don't want to go right into the water, it just says water. Mm. No dramas. Yeah, for sure. And it's very obedient. Your subconscious mind gives you what you want. So if you concentrate on that water and we've got guys that come up to the fourth tee and they pull their water ball out because they don't want to go right in the water, anything but go right in the water, the yeah. subconscious mind goes, beautiful, water, no dramas, we'll give you some water. And, uh, you know, and your body and your mind, I think there's a quote that uh, David talks about, your body and your mind work together as they, one... They as, are one entity. They yeah, are one right. entity. Yeah. Uh, entity. So when your subconscious mind, when your brain, when your thinking system says water, 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 mm. the body goes, no problems at all. Yeah. And, and what's really important there is that that player, that golfer who obviously has a slice or has sliced plenty of shots has completely forgotten about the target. Now clearly what we want here is we want to be able to hit the ball onto the fairway or you know, if you want to, to really use course management as a, as a clever tool, that's great. We decide to go for the left edge of the fairway. However you want to play this shot, the whole idea is that you're specific about what you're trying to achieve rather than what you're trying not to achieve. Yes. And when, when you're saying to yourself, don't do this, don't do that, don't hit in the water, then you are thinking about the negative, you are thinking about what you're trying not to achieve, which is counterproductive. Yeah. It's where you focus, it's where you put your focus, and it's how you talk to yourself that's mm. the most important part. And, and that, specifically, if that sentence, if water is the last word that you say to yourself, then also that is the last thing that you're gonna remember. The yeah. last thing the subconscious mind is gonna focus on is that last word. And it thinks in pictures. Subject. Yeah. Tiger is famous for talking about Earl when they're working on their putting mm. and they're talking about how they structure holding a putt, Earl's famous line is, putt to the picture. Mm. And what does that mean? For Tiger, that means he creates the picture in his mind, the image, the mental imagery, the mind movie of holding that putt and then he putts to that picture. Mm. So it's not about all the technical stuff, it's literally about painting a picture of exactly what he wants to do and what he focuses on doing and then executing that. Yeah. So for a drive like this, it's okay to have to stand up before your shot and analyze your terrain. Yeah, you want to be aware have, of where have the Have a look at are. where yeah. everything is and be aware of everything. But once you step in, once you talk about creating that shot, creating where you want it to go, it's literally that. It's about saying, I want to start this up the left-hand side of the fairway. I'm going to cut it back slightly into the left-hand side of the fairway and it cameras right and I want the ball to bounce right and bounce right into the middle of the fairway. Mm. So that's, I'm creating that mental picture, that mental imagery of what I want to do. Well, it's giving you the best chance to achieve it because you're very specific about what you're trying to achieve. Yes. Very specific about the visualization process and that's giving your body the best chance of, of achieving that. Because it's obviously a shot that everyone's played before is that successful shot down the fairway. Yeah. And, and it's remembering that. And that's what's really, I'm really keen to, to study more about what David says there, is the visualization process isn't just when you're up in front of a ball. It, it also incorporates what you're visualizing the day before or during the week. Absolutely. Um, and you're, you're creating that, that positive energy throughout the whole week. And that's not to say putting a load of pressure on yourself for a round of golf, but just visualizing being successful and achieving the goals that you want to achieve. Yeah, and exactly right. You're creating these neuro pathways, mm -hmm. these new connections, these new positive connections of what you're trying to achieve. And that's, that's on the practice ground. Yes. That's at night. 
when just before you, maybe just before you're going to bed, I do it a lot about how I want my round to go, exactly how I want to play it, exactly what I want to achieve in the next round. And the more you do all of these things and the more the, you do them in a way that is beneficial to what you're trying to achieve, the better you're going to play. For sure. As you said, the mind and body, they are connected, they are one entity. So you can't just focus on the technical aspects and just practice on, on the range. You've also got to practice the mental aspects. And a big part of that is practicing visualizing your golf shots. Exactly right. One little story, I played a pro-am a while ago and a, a guy in the group was, was having a bad day. Yep. And uh, he managed to hit a really nice shot, but it went over the green on a par three. So he had the wrong club. Uh, he's still having a bad day. A few holes later, we came across a par three that was slightly longer than, than that shot that he'd hit over the green. So I said to him, look, that club that you hit back on that previous par three, you hit that exact same shot here and it'll be spot on. Mm. And he literally hit two good shots all day. The one that went over the green and then the one on that par three, he's knocked it to four foot. Yep. Because I gave him that, that process of just visualizing the shot that he'd already hit. So it was, it was creating that positive energy. Absolutely. And that, and, that good and that, memory. That good memory and that good swing and that flight and that whole visual mental imagery was so fresh in his mind yes. because it was only... Very powerful. So, yeah. it, I mean, it was there. Mm. All he had to do was just manifest it. Yeah. Um, and but, he was surprised, but I wasn't. <laughs> oh, exactly right. But you and I, you and I study this stuff and we do it yeah. a lot. I, th this stuff is so much bigger than you most people will give credit to. Mm. You know, I, I played with a member the other day and he goes, oh, mate, I don't know how to think. I've been thinking for 62 years. <laughs> well, that's true. You, you do know how to think, but are you thinking in, in the right way that is beneficial? Uh, and do you know some of these philosophies and strategies? Mm. It's very so, easy to fall into those habits and those traps of thinking negatively or thinking about what you're trying not to achieve yep. rather than what you are trying to achieve. Anyway, fundamental number three. You've got this manual, I've printed this off. You've got this co comprehensive ebook, and especially this chapter. Go through it, have, have a read of it, have a listen to what we're saying, yep. and practice put it all it. together and practice it. And if you've got any questions, you can always email us, and we're quite happy to do another separate video on this for you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you for fundamental number four.